So let's break it down. Let's break this one down. This is a song that goes way back, 1975, right? And uh, first song that made me want to play bass, or it made me get interested in the bass, from that Parliament uh, Mothership Connection album. Okay. So on this bass line, which I'm pretty sure Bootsy's playing, right? Bootsy Collins at his. So. You got the you got the uh, envelope filter on there. Now for this video, I'm using an Ottawa, but back in those days, they use a pedal called the Mutron, and I just so happen to have one right here. So let me show y'all the Mutron pedal right here. This is the what Boots they used back in the day. I think he still does use them. He still uses these. Now, I don't use mine anymore because it's heavy. So it's pretty heavy on a pedal board. It's got a special adapter on the back, you know, which is a pain in the butt. And, you know, it's it's kind of temperamental. You know, it's, it's a little temperamental, but it's funky. So, but it's easier these days just to have a smaller envelope fil filter pedal or one built into your multi-effects board, uh, you know, instead of using some big and bulky like that. But for a studio use or something like that, it's perfect because you don't have to take it out on the road. And plus, I wouldn't want to take it out on the road anyway because I wouldn't, wouldn't want it uh, to get broken or stolen or whatever, come up missing. Just leave it here. Let it sit there and marinate. So let's break this bass line down. So we have two parts of the song, the verse and the chorus, right? Now, which I just did in my little demo. So verse. So that's the whole pattern of the of the verse. Okay, the whole pattern. Now I'm gonna break that down into sections because there's there's sections of it. Okay, so it, each verse has two sections. So, but they both start out with this B to A, which corresponds to the kick drum. Boom, boom. <laughs> Now this part right here is E to F sharp, and then that uh, B to A. So you start out with the B to A, 
then this part. You end it with the D. Back to the B A. You do the same thing again. Now at the end of this right here, you're gonna do a tag. Which is F D E. And I like to slide it. So let me play the whole thing for you again in context. Back to the B A. Now that part right there is E D E D B. A lot of pentatonics uh, scale in this song. Pretty much all pentatonics, right? So let's let's do the pattern again, slow. I'm gonna do the whole pattern, the whole thing. I'm gonna go slow. Take it in sections. It repeats it again, repeats it again. Now, one thing you will notice about this song is a lot of space in between the notes, a lot of space. And part of funk is, is not how many notes you play, is how, where you play those notes, okay? Space is key. Space. 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 So just get that in mind too. With some funk songs, not everything's going a mile a minute. You know, doing all this. You ain't doing all that all the time. Some funk is just boom, boom. You know. And it goes back to like, uh, Papa was a Rolling Stone, right? Space. Funky, funky bass line, but only three notes because there's space. Same thing with this one. All right, so that is the verse section. That is the saxophone section in the middle. What else? And that's just the groove, the main groove. Now, the fun part is the chorus which is just as fun, but different. Now, this is a part to me where you can totally like ad lib. Okay. This is where you could stretch out as a bass player and do funky things, you know, you can just totally stretch out i'm just kind of going off memory what the song does if i was playing the song i could better create but i'm kind of just going off memory right now it's like okay it does this it does this you could totally feed off the vocalist the drummer 
the fellow musicians, whatever's going on, what you're feeling at the time during this course. This is like wide open to me, you know, okay? The verse is like more structured. That's more structured, right? There's a pattern, right? The, the, the chorus is not like that. Then you go. And you know, play around with it right there. You can totally stretch out, do whatever you want to do right there, right? And then at the end of that chorus, make sure you drop back into, and then that's just like, whoa, that's, that's what makes it funky right there when you do that. So this is a song called P-Funk by Parliament. A lot of people haven't heard of it unless you're like old school funkster like myself. Okay, you heard of the other songs by Parliament and Funkadelic, but this one was the one that kicked it off. Okay, this is the one that kicked it off. Okay, that that brought Parliament up to the front. Okay, back in the day. So make sure you take your time with that verse section. Have fun with that chorus section. And while you're having fun, make sure you uh, like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you, uh, what else you want to do? Um, uh, comment below. And uh, donate to my retirement fund, shit. Some po. I got to pay for all these bases behind me, y'all. Nah, they already paid for them. But if you like what you hear and like what I'm talking about, you know, support a brother a little bit. And with that being said, I'll see y'all next time. I'll have some more stuff coming up, and uh, who knows, I might have some more stuff with the, uh, what's this called, Ottawa envelope filter. So with that being said, I'll catch up with y'all next time.